So let's get going on what I think is uh, the number one jewel of the summer, sweet corn. It is, at its height, it's always like the best thing you look forward to. Um, you sometimes forget about it, like during your barbecue when you get caught up making these, you know, massive projects. But it is like one of the things that you have to have on a table in the summertime. Um, because it's, it's right, it's only in the summertime. You know, you don't, you wanna, you don't wanna be eating corn in December, right? You wanna eat corn, especially when you're in a place that, you know, you can get it at a farmer's market where they're picking it the day of. It's just a must on a table. So what I did is I cut them all in half. And what I'm going to do is split these guys down the middle. And then from here, cut it again. And what we're doing is making these basically corn ribs. So these are gonna get grilled and then these are gonna marinate in a little bit of coconut milk. And what that does is it helps it um, stay nice and juicy. Um, it helps it also get a little bit of color, but the coconut milk is naturally sweet and the corn sweet. So it's kind of like doubling down on, the, on this natural sweetness of this corn. So this, a little bit of coconut milk. And then we're just gonna let this marinate. Don't salt this now. Um, you're gonna salt this after it's grilled. So you don't wanna pull any of the moisture out of the uh, corn right now. So we have a bunch of corn here. We're gonna get this on the grill. Um, we're gonna make some space. The charcoals have done their thing. Um, we're gonna get them off the grill and we're gonna lay the corn to finish cooking these. So once you get the corn on the grill, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. If you don't know, this corn is gonna take maybe about five minutes to cook. You want all the uh, you want all the kernels to be facing the grill, especially when you close the grill. It's gonna kind of turn this into an oven, and this is gonna be a really quick cook. What you're gonna see is like these guys curl up like this, so it's basically gonna turn into these beautiful little corn ribs. Um, don't go too hot. I don't. I want these to cook through without getting too black and chewy. I like that really just kind of like this luscious piece of corn. Big reveal. Corn is ready. Let's do this. So this I love to just kind of get it into the plate and it's gonna look uh, organic and like it fell from the heavens, but you can see how they've curled up and kind of look like ribs. Uh, that's the whole point. Um, I love it. It's also like not a commitment, right? When you get like that, people give you a whole ear of corn and you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Um, I never say that because of this, but you know, it is, like a little portion control. So to finish this, a little bit of cotilla cheese right over the top, lime. Just to give it a little bit, make sure it has a lot of acidity. You know, it's kind of emulating that elote street corn vibe. And that's what we're going for. One last thing to add to our corn is a little bit of Korean chili flake. So it's, ko it's called kojugaru. I do think it adds a nice little peppery finish to our corn. 